think of robots, the first thing that comes into our mind are machine-like terminators. But robot is essentially anything that sends data, process it, and act upon that information. So if you have a thermostat in your house and it is maintaining the temperature of your household on its own, it is a robot. If you have a light system that turns on based on your motions, it is a robot as well. But what fascinated me the most was the robots that are supposed to work with human beings. And I realized that after the computer revolution and the internet revolution, this century is, is the century of robots. So the urgency to bring robotics in Pakistan cannot be denied. I grew up in a very small village uh, near Jamshoro called Khudaki Basti. Khudaki Basti was a very small town where there were 200 or 300 houses. So we used to run a small medical store out of our home. Right after I would come from school, I would go to this medical store so that my father could catch some sleep because he used to work a lot. My mother was my biggest inspiration. She was the one who moved me and encouraged me to get higher education. And uh, I remember patting her on my back and telling me to read, read and read and do something good for the humanity. In 2012, I got the Fulbright Scholarship to attend Carnegie Mellon University and did my Master's in Robotic Systems Development. My Fulbright experience in US was very enriching, but I was thrilled to find out that Carnegie Mellon had a cricket team, so we played lots and lots and lots of cricket. The most important thing I learned while studying robotics is the ethical use of this technology. There is no limit to what one can achieve in the field of building such multi-purpose machines. I started working at Information Technology University and co-founded a lab called Intelligent Machines Lab, where I designed special courses to teach undergraduate students who have no background in robotics how to make robots in order to solve locally relevant problems of Pakistan. Since the inception of our lab, more than 200 students have been a part of it, which means each one of these students has tried to solve local problem by creating robots. My students and I are currently developing a number of robots. Octosynth uses frequencies and capacitive touch technology to generate sound. The reason behind using fruits and human connection to complete the circuit is to create a learning mechanism for children with learning disabilities. Our team has also built a low-cost portable ventilator to address the chronic shortage of automatic ventilators in public hospitals. The ventilator only costs 15,000 Pakistani rupees, which is a tenth of the average cost of imported ventilators. SENSE is a smart energy monitoring system which tracks the household's energy consumption and relays this information over the internet to its user in real time. It enables users to track their energy consumption through the ease of their mobile phones and make better decisions about their energy usage. Another medical product that we have successfully tested is an infusion pump. Its basic function is to administer drugs at a rate lower than 0.1 mL per hour to patients. The current market price for infusion pumps is 100 to 125,000 Pakistani rupees. Our pump designed locally will cost only 15,000 rupees. Robotics is poised to become a $70 billion global industry by 2025. We have gone beyond robotics for industrial applications. The new wave of intelligent robots will have the capabilities to integrate socially into our lives. My name is Talha Rahmani and my aim is to lead Pakistan into the global robotics revolution.